Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm looking for a lush planet, and I'm using my um, good old freighter and this little table here to find planets. You can see here, there's no lush planets inside the system. So why am I trying to find a lush planet? Well, I'm trying to find a decent planet for light no sky when we start doing season two. So... I'm going to share with you my top tips for finding an awesome planet. So I'm just going to go into here, go into my catalogue, then go into plants. And I'm also going to select the star bulb. Right, now I'm just going to go to the galactic map. And it should point me to the nearest system that has got star bulb or star bramble. So there's this system right here. There we go. And we're going to head there. You can see there it's not very high in technology. The conflict seems to be a level two. Let's check it out. It's got a star bramble world, though. Right, well, I've arrived at Coated inside of said system. Let's go and hit on up that table. Let's go in to go and scan everything. Boom. And, well, we've got a Solarium planet there. So I guess this is the star bramble planet. No, that's, uh, that's not. Okay, well, which one is? Frost crystal. There we go. There's this one. Hmm. Salvageable scrap on there as well. Tropical planet. It does say high sentinel activity, but I think we're going to be okay. Now, all I do is I look at the creatures here, and what I'm looking for is more than it having two flying species. So hopefully it's going to have one that you can mount and fly from the word go. So that one, it's got one flyer there. Most are underground or underwater, and it's got two other flyers it's got two flyers there and it's got one flying there i've just got to hope that one of those is maybe a beetle or one of those lovely butterflies let's go and have a look at the planet people all right let's go let's go okay now we're flying down to this planet and it's it's not a massive planet it has got quite a lot of water on it so even if it has got flying creatures they might drown trying to fly us over swathe of ocean Let's hope it's got a decent Okay, well, creature. something that this planet hasn't got is trees. It's a little bit like the one Cynical found last time, but far more redder. Um, well, I might as well put boots on the ground and we'll see if it's got a flying creature. But I would really like to come across a planet that has trees this time along. Let's just see if my theory of spotting more than three creatures that are flying rings true. So I'll just scan the flyers. Just to get those off the radar. So we've got one flying creature there. Okay. What have we got down there? Oh, that looks like it might be flying. Ah, they're on, they're, they're ground dwellers, aren't they? These ones that are sort of like bobbing up and down out of the ground. Yeah, you can't ride those. So what else have we got? Now, it is going to try and find the star bramble. On the sweep scanner. We'll get that scanned anyway. Just to get it off the radar. Hmm. Okay. It's got these weird ball creatures everywhere as well. I don't think it has got. Beetles. But I could be wrong. Oh look there's another flyer up there. So that's two down. That's two of the flying species marked off the list. It has got some unusual fauna though. Right, I'm going to get rid of that on my log. Just abandon the search for a moment. Let's see if we can find another creature. So there's something just over here, over yonder hill. We'll, well see if the it's third a flyer. flyer isn't making itself known. It's not popping up. It's not appearing. Um, so it's not in abundance anyway. And this planet, because it hasn't got trees, I I'm going to rule this one out anyhow. You know? Oh, well. Well, we'll head back up to the freighter. So that's pretty much how I'm doing my search okay, for a so planet. now I just jump to a random system, but away from that lush planet that I just found. And then that way, if there's no lush planets in the system, I can use that same technique again that I just used momentarily ago to hunt for star bulb. You don't want to do it too close to the one that you've already been to. Oh, there we go. We've got, we've got one just by sheer chance this time. So let's hit that. This has got 10 fauna. Okay. So we've got a couple of ground. We've got only one flying that flies at night. Then the rest are underwater or underground. I don't think that's going to be a very good candidate. All right. OK. Well, I'll show you what else I look for on the galactic map as I'm hunting. So we go. Go into here. 
Now I'm looking for another one that might have Star Bramble, so I'm just going into free roam. And I'm also looking for ones that have got very low on conflict, because I don't really want pirates to be shooting us all the time while we're out on planet surface. So I'm going for one that's quite relaxed, like that one. Now you can see there, that one says no water. Okay, and it's got quite a lot of planets. And they're all quite small in size. Now we don't technically have to have water. If we don't have water, then there's not so much need for flying creatures. We could just have ground mounts. Okay, well, let's go up to the little table, because if it's got some decent ground mounts that are quite fast, that, that'd be fine. We don't have to have flyers. Okay, right. So we've got this one over here, that's our solarium. Frost crystal, frost crystal, solarium, and cactus flesh. Okay, there's no, there's none in there that are star brambles. So if I just go back into here, go into plants, hit that up, it should take me to a neighbouring system that does have star bramble. Okay, here we go. And just a short stone throw away. Okay, there we go. And this is a this is only level one as well. And it does have water. And it does have a star bramble. Pecky, plant. Pecky. Well, let's uh, head on over here then. Let's go and hit this up. Scan. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it's a fungal world. I thought it was going to be um, a lovely purple lush then. But we do have a green paradise planet there. Very nice. And frost crystal, frost crystal, and a pillared planet. Let's have a look at this green one then. Eight creatures. And it's got two flyers on there. Both in the daytime. But the rest are ground creatures. Now, a lot of a lot of planets that have got only two flyers, they're usually flyers in the air. They're not usually the lovely majestic beetles. Mm, I'll go and have a look. But I'm not jumps, I, I, I fought against it. it it's definitely. I don't think it is going to have to. Oh, we're gonna we go. The reason look. why I said I'd go look at this planet when I'm pretty confident it's not going to have beetles or butterflies or any flying creatures, is I don't think it's got any water. So if it's got luscious trees all over it, which it looks like it has, as long as it's got some interesting ground fauna, it could be a reasonable candidate. Oh, it's, it's got bubbles. It's a bubble lush. All right. And it's got quite nice landscape. It's not too mountainous, but it's hilly. OK, it's got it's, it's ticking a few boxes. Yeah, ticking a few boxes, isn't it? All right, let's um, have a little look around then. Let's just let's just put boots on the ground, shall we, people? See what we've got on this planet. I'm liking the bubbles. Yeah, it's quite nice. I'm just going to go into the old log and uh, disable my search again. Let's have a little look around. Okay, creatures, creatures, creatures. I'm fairly sure that the two flying varieties are going to be up in the sky. I don't think they're going to be ones that I can tame and mount. Okay, there's something flying quite fast that way. Oh, there we go. I bet you that's species one. And species two. Oh, please be a beetle. I mean, I don't think it is. We've got this guy, a little ground mount there. Doesn't look all that interesting. It looks like there's something darting around over this way. And it was going far too fast to be a beetle. And far too fast to be anything else other than an airborne fauna. Oh, it has got striders. So it's got these guys on. These striders are quite cool. Is that the other type of bird that just flew past like super quick? Did I just get it? Let's have a look. Did I accidentally scan the bird instead? Yeah, we've got the two flyers. The flyers are actually located. There's nothing overly interested in here. I mean, there's these guys that are quite cool. But yeah, it would be nice to have a decent sort of level of fauna. I mean, the striders are cool. And, you know, people can claim their Twitch rewards. And me, Cynical and Ricey can always bring birds onto this planet anyway. So I suppose having flyers isn't a massive must. And this is quite nice as far as, you know, lush planets go. 
Yeah, it's it's a candidate, isn't it? It's a candidate. But I, I, I don't know. I'll have to pass it over to Ricey and Cynical to see what they think. No, right, cool. I get the coordinates and send well, them to Well, chums, you. I've come across something a little bit cool. I've got one lush moon there. I've got one lush planet there. And another lush planet there. So there's three planets in one system. Let's have a quick look, see. Let's see if any one of them has got candidates for flyers. This one's got two flyers on. Mm, no, I think those are just going to be airborne ones, like the last planet we just looked at. This one over here is a lovely little moon. Hasn't got any water. It's got two flyers there. The rest are all ground-based by the looks of things. But again, if there's no water, it doesn't overly matter too much. Purple grass. This one looks more Earth-like. 14 creatures. Rare. It's got a flyer there. What's in the next page like? It's got another flyer, but then the rest are underwater. I'm fairly sure that's not going to be a candidate either. The only one that I'm really interested in looking at here will probably be the little purple one over there. But at the same time, I bet it's not an interesting looking planet when you put boots on the ground. I think I'll just carry on looking because it would be nice to either have a flyer. It'd be nice if it did have water. It'd be nice if it was medium sized rather than a moon come to think of it. But we're keeping okay, so well, I've come across a red planet that doesn't appear to have any water, but it's got four species of flyer. Four species of flying creature. There's no ground mounts there. But, you know, hopefully people have got some ground mounts inside of their eggs and things like that. I'm just going to go and have a look at it. It's piqued my interest. We're going to go and have yeah, a look at it. We're heading through the atmosphere. Let's just hope that this one isn't just covered in mushrooms. It has actually got some interesting landscape. Oh, it's mushrooms. I found a planet just like this earlier. And it did have beetles. And it did have the uh, wormy sort of moth creatures. So it had two species of flyer, but again, it was a shroom-like world like this one. And the ground was more pinky. I like the terrain on this one more. It's got all these sort of like black canyons on it. I quite like this. OK, right, let's, uh, let's scan some of these creatures then. So we've got that type of airborne fauna. What other kind of airborne fauna do we have? Aha! Oh, they're little dragonfly ones. Not going to be riding them anytime soon. Ah. More weird dragonfly type creatures. Okay, yeah, I don't think this is going to have any I can ride. No, the other one's in the air. There it is there. Scan that. I think I've completed the set for this planet, haven't I? I've done all four of them. Yeah, oh well, we've got some free nanites on that one, people. But that's... That's that one. All right, well, back to the freighter I go, and the search continues. See you in a bit. Well, there, chums, well, we haven't found what we're looking for this episode, have we? But it's, it's search continues, people. Heck yes. Good fun, this. Anyway, until next time, peeps, have a good one. Salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.